Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Forever Stranded, where last time we made a huge amount of progress in one of our quest lines, and then found out some new stuff and ran out of food. That's where we ended up. So I spent some time filling up our lunchbox here with various new little pieces of food, and in the process I actually made a carrot cake. And that turns out to be more like a normal Minecraft cake than a food item. So I guess this is placed? Let's maybe place it down here. Yep. Mmm, carrot cake. So, we're not really hungry right now. We'll eat that later at some point, I guess, but at least we have food again. So, that's good. So, last time we uh, finished off the bunch of quests and found a new thing. So, if we go into basic survival, I believe it was. Yeah, down here. Regulate on the go. Portable temperature regulator. So, that's one, and not incomplete, which is interesting. And thirst quencher. These seem really useful, so we're going to try to get there. But we need to... we should do this first. Uh, which gives us a loot chest and a bunch of XP. Cooling coils. Uh, however, before we do even that, we got a loot chest that we never opened. So let's open this and see if we get something good. Uh, conduit probe. Alright. Ooh. A steadfast drone from forestry. That's interesting. We actually get bees from... Rewards. We're getting a whole bunch of golden apples. One of them actually was a notch apple. I didn't even notice that. Iron, 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 and some gunpowder, and yeah, some very s steel chest plate. Biome crystals. Uh, so much interesting stuff. Right. So I, yeah, conduit probe. In probe mode, right click on a conduit to display details about its network. Okay. I feel like we're we're not quite there yet. <laughs> Alright, so let's hand off some of the stuff here. I am so out of storage everywhere. Well, I guess not over here. I'm trying to move stuff away from here, not into here. So that's not very helpful. I guess we'll put the name tag here. Uh yes. The Biome Crystal. Whatever that is. So Let's look at this thing. Cooling coils. This, I believe, requires the... Yeah, the freeze rods, which we can't get. Probably can get them somehow, but not easily. Or diamond shards. This, I believe, is a specific for the mod pack. This recipe. But a diamond shard, we need to have a yet another hammer hammer. And a shard die from Boot. Woot is a really cool mod, you should try to get into that. You can do a large amount of things with the uh, spawn stuff in here, so that would be really interesting to get into, but let's first just get this done. I don't know if we have any nether brick remaining, but uh, it should be easy enough to get otherwise. Because we can make nether rack. We don't have any in here. Don't have any here. Don't have any there. We actually have one piece of netherrack in there already. Nothing in there, and I'm overheating. I'm in full gel slime armor, so yeah, we really need these temperature regulating things. <laughs> Alright, uh... What's over here? Let's sit in this for a while. Let's cool down. See if I have no nothing there. No, nothing really there. Okay, so... This... Uh, actually this... I was wondering if you could maybe Atomic reconstruct something into this, but it doesn't look like it. Chiseling sag mill. No, so we'll have to do the barrel crafting. Still, that's fine, we have plenty of lava. Alright, going over here. This is our little lava station. It should refill automatically. It does. Good. Give me that. Alright. That, and then right into this one. Smelt that up real quick. That gives us... Wow, it's so quick, that thing. That gives us that. We're going to need a couple of pieces of string and some sticks. Uh, string we have. And sticks should have on me somewhere. Yeah, there. All right, so... the Yet another hammer hammer. Like so. And then we needed the... Shard die? Uh, die? Like that? That's a really weird icon. Alright, so obsidian, fl flint, iron bars, and gold. So, I'm gonna make these. 16 of them, for no good reason. There. 
Make that. All right, then we grab a diamond. One. Can I get one of them? There. Something wrong with this version of the, the mod that does that all the time. All right, so. Diamond shard. There's the hammer. Oh, and a piece of cobblestone. Sure, okay. All right. I guess it's nine of those. And it doesn't break any of these, doesn't take any durability or anything, so that's good, I guess. Uh, might stack them in here in case I need them more. All right, so now we have the shard. What can we make more with these? We can craft them back into a diamond. That's useful. Tier 3 upgrade for a factory from boot. Uh, oh, it's a, it's a dragon's breath. That is extremely expensive. <laughs> Very expensive. Okay, this is the one we want. We want cobblestone underneath. Huh. Compactor? That might be an interesting thing. If that could compact our ores and stuff. Anyway, um... Yes. Cobblestone. Make these cooling coils. And I don't quite know how these work. We should probably try to place them around here, because we have so much lava here. Here's where we heat up all the time. So what happens if I just place them? Are they... Do they then cool us down? Yeah, they... Okay. That, that was odd, but okay. Pickaxe is the effective tool. Maybe... What happens if we place them over here? Will we then cool down a lot quicker? Or do they need, like, power? They don't have any... Yeah, they don't have any interface by the looks of things. I mean, I guess we wouldn't cool down quicker, we would cool down more. I don't know. Anyway, we made them. Can I hand in the quest? No. Wait, did I? I have to make two. Okay, then. Well, I guess we'll make another set of... Well, then I needed two diamonds, after all. Alright. More of these. Alright. We made two. Cool coils is complete. Alright, that gives us a loot chest and XP. Alright, well, level 20, that's nice. So I think what we're gonna do, if I understand this correctly, if I put a cooling coil next to crops, we'll put it like that, then it will keep those alive during summer, basically. Which would be extremely helpful. Oh, that's so weird. I thought it would go like on to, onto that end. All right, whatever, whatever. We have cooling coils. That wasn't really important. The important thing was to get here. But on the way, we got a loot chest, so that's nice. And junk. Mixing bowl back where it belongs, and now I think we should be good to get this into our inventory. Oh, an ender pearl. Nice. Iridium shards, silver, lead. Nothing else really remarkable, but the ender pearl is like, hmm, nice. I have another one somewhere, probably in here. Yeah, <laughs> doubled our amount of ender pearls. All right, and the rest of them. All the things went in there, so that's nice. All right, so now, truly interesting bit: portable temperature regulator and a thirst quencher. Those are what we need. And they are retrieval tasks, so it doesn't matter how we get them, but I'm guessing that we will want to craft them. Portable temperature regulator. All right. So that's... Oh, we need uh, heating coils for that too. Okay. Those are blaze rods. Ooh. Dang. I know I broke apart some blaze rods that I didn't need to. How many do we have? Dang! We have five. We needed six. So if I hadn't done that last time... Don't I really have more? Dang! Can we make... Uh, can we make blaze rods? Compress the blaze rod. Compressor. Oh, we can, can compress... Blaze powder. It's a compressor. That's stone, 
basic machine casing and electronic circuit. Industrial craft is two stuff. This is insulated copper cable, iron plate, and redstone. And this is rubber and copper cable. And the rubber is sticky resin that has been smelted. Which is... Uh, uh, okay, never mind. Never mind. We're not doing that. So, that means we're gonna go have to go kill more blazes. Oh boy. Alright. Guess what that means is we're gonna go sit in here for a bit. Right, we are pretty chilly. And, uh... It's about to hit morning time here, so... We're just gonna go off again, I guess. Uh, we have this thing now, which is, uh... This is our old sword, the Ender. And we have this, the empowered one with travel. It has a bit of energy in it. So, in a bind, that will be super useful to just get away from mobs. Sun is going... Yeah, sun is a little just above the horizon. Hi, right, so... I would say just, uh, let's go. Uh, right shoes on. Yeah, good. <laughs> Pin down here. I need to find like a f an undisturbed factory, I think, because they have blaze spawners inside of them. There might be blaze spawners inside of some of these two, but I don't know which ones, so we're not gonna toy with that. This one is this one is cleared out. Pretty sure it's like entirely cleared out. There's another one not far from here, I believe. Now oh, this place is all broken. That looks like one. It's a little further away than I wanted. But, oh, this this one. This will be good. And yeah, we have that. Okay, we're gonna need to drink a little bit. All right, so we're going. We have a, one more heart than last time, so that's that's good. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to do this quickly, uh, so we don't overheat. Oh, that little bit of lag spike there. Not good. Okay. Oh, did I? Oh, come on. Doing all kinds of things I don't intend to here. Alright, that should be good. It's a named mob in here. Or special mob in here, so that's great. Hello. That was extremely unclever. Alright. I messed that up. Messed it up badly. That kind of works, though. Oh, spider. Nice. And what are you? You're a black skeleton somehow. Uh, I don't have many arrows, do I? I have four arrows. Alright. Let's deal with the zombie. And with the spider. Well, the spider is actually peaceful because it's daytime. Which works for me. Kinda. Just need this. Ooh. That's a blitz. It's very interesting. Alright, so get rid of that. Bounce away. Oh, another one. Is this cleared? Probably isn't. That's still in visual range, so it's still... I think we're gonna do this. We're gonna heat up pretty quick with that, but that's fine. There's a lot of stuff in this one now. The other stuff should have despawned. Oh, wow, but Ooh. that's a bit broken. <laughs> All right, eat more lunch. Using that up quicker than I'd like. All right, now, come on, place it. Good. It's another. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's a... No, there's crafting tables and stuff in here. So are these things just... Hello. There's got to be another spawner in here. Kinda do want to get the spawner stuff, but oh, a head. Ooh, 
the noises. The noises are real. Oh, this this isn't helping. No, no, this is definitely not helping. I guess maybe in a way. It is helping, because it lets me get around, I get in under it, light it up like that. Alright, that's fine, but we came for blazes though. Blazes are probably on the top of this thing, so let's go up. Digging from the top, see what we see here. That's a zombie spawner. That's another zombie spawner, I was hoping for blaze. Alright, that's two spawners right next to each other. Oh. So that's, we're, we're leaving that. Okay, there's another one. There's more ones over there. Over the whole broken areas. Really? Are you kidding me? There's an actual... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. This is worth using arrows for. Oh. Another one? Did it drop? Did it drop? Did it drop? Dropped something. I guess that's nighter. Alright. Can we hit you from here? No. <laughs> it was too high up. Couldn't even reach it. Alright, that's another one. That's, we've been there. It's clearly visible. Alright. Let's, let's back away from this one. <laughs> Alright, so the spawners, I thought they would be, you know, the same, but they are clearly randomized. Kind of would be interesting to dig into this place and get the the rest of this stuff, though, for... Alright, real quick, go for these. Just to get the <gasps> things here. Out, out, let's go. Hello. Alright, that, that was pretty good, though. Let's look at these. Any spawner in here? No spawner on the bottom floor. No spawner. Oh, that's a good sound though. <laughs> Something you don't normally expect to be saying about that sound, but... Oh really? Come on. <laughs> Let me up. Alright, I just need one blaze rod. I might actually just build up here. So we also burn one of our fire resistance potions already. Yeah, here we go. There's two of them. Come on. Oh, you... You little git. That sounded like that's place. Okay, let's. While we're here, we have tw 30 seconds of fire resistance. Let's just farm some of these for a while. This is a good place, too, though. And looting is helping. me your things. Nice, thank you. Oh, crap. He ran out. <laughs> okay, alright, I think... Right. Okay. Fine, we're using another one up. We can make another one if need be, but we're going home. Where am I? Uh, can we? No, we can't. And we're about to overheat and die. And we're also not healing. Alright, we're gonna eat a golden apple. One more bouncing. Okay, that's that. No. Why am I always so late? Where am I? Alright. Need to be going maybe this way. Yeah, and not into cactuses. Cacti, I guess. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, and that's not cool. That's not cool in the slightest. I don't even have any water on my bar. And if I release here, I'm gonna, gonna go down. But I think I'm gonna have to do that as soon as we start hitting our actual... Alright, we should, we should, okay, let's, let's accept that we're going down for a bit. Alright, please. I want to get up there, because then I can be inside. But on the other hand, I'm not healing right now, so I'm not healing away the damage that I'm taking, but it doesn't seem to be doing much to my health. I think armor might be reducing the damage I'm taking for the fire tick, or the, the heat, which is odd, but if it is, then I'm grateful for it right now. Yeah, we're not really taking damage lasting. Okay, it passed. Well, we, we accomplished our goal, which is uh, the main part. Alright, so we're making heating coils that I will never want. Uh, I guess... Actually, it might be heating coils that we need next to our wheat here. I think it might be. Now, on second thought, because the mod itself expects it to be cold. Uh, to expect it to be cold in the winter, and that's why our crops are dying. Which is, like, makes no sense in this context, but fine. Now, what would... what more? Okay, so we need iron, and then we need the temperature regulator. Which is... Okay, okay, we, we have work to do. Iron generators and advanced circuits, which is an electronic circuit, which is, which is this. Okay, we, we... Yes, okay. <laughs> so we, th this is, uh, this is uh, kind of the pressing point at the moment. We need to get into this stuff, because there seems to be these uh, electronic circuits in like everything. Which means insulated copper wires which means copper wires, which is copper plate and cutter, that seems good enough. Metal formers. So that's fine, but we also... need rubber. And rubber seems to only be the sticky resin. There's so sticky resin in all of these, except scrap boxes. Uh, I don't even... What's a scrap box? It's a box of scraps. Which is from the recycler. Hmm. Alright, what's a recycler? It's a compressor with glowstone and dirt. So the compressor would be, and that requires, okay. So basically, we need to get rubber. That's our sticking point, no pun intended. Um, and we can get them from scrap boxes, which we can get if we get rubber. Uh, extractor, that, or carpenter. So just created rubber. So we'll need to get the sticky resin stuff, which you can get from Crated, which we don't have, but you can centrifuge it from this stuff, Propolis. So we'll need to make a centrifuge and we'll need to get Propolis. And that can in this, then in turn be from honey drops or from stringy comb or silky Propolis, which is a silky comb, which we can't get. Yeah, we, um, we might be stuck here. Or we might just uh, have a long way to go. I'm not quite sure. Um, either way, it seems like we might actually need to find that thing rather than make it. Why is it showing this as done, though? I don't have one of those, do I? Retrieval task. Thirst quencher. Is that easier? Could I, could I get away with cheesing this? Thirst quencher is empty canteen, charcoal filter, and iron and water. This is easy enough. Let's make one of those, because I do have over here way long time ago. Not there. Here. Made a canteen. Can easily enough make paper if I don't have any. Smelt these up. Into three charcoal. And then... Get rid of some of these sand layers building up all over the place. And let's see, charcoal filter. Do that. Grab a water bottle from there. We don't have the iron on us, apparently. I think I've 
in here. Yep. Let's make a thirst quencher. Alright. Does that complete the quest? No. We need we need this if it doesn't say that it isn't complete. But but I guess we still need it. Oh well, couldn't cheese it. That's fine. What's the thirst quencher though? This is zero out of three hundred thousand RF. Right click on a water source block or tank with water to fill. It requires water and RF to run. So we'll need some way to charge this thing. Which uh, probably an easy easy way of that is a capacitor bank. These things I am pretty sure you can charge up stuff inside. So that's a redstone block, iron and basic capacitors, which are gold ingots, copper and redstone. So we can do that. We need a bunch of those. Make two more of those. Then we have those and then we need a redstone block and four iron. I only have two on me. I don't actually have any more here. Well, that's very interesting. I might actually be in a situation where I have to do the whole iron grind again. Alright, so what we need is we need gravel. And we need lots of it. Approximately that much. Then we need to make this into compressed gravel. Like that. And then we'll throw this into the sifter over here. And that guy will produce stuff for us. Lots and lots of stuff. Very convenient. I might actually have more inside of the smeltery already. Now that I think about it. The smeltery which has been stormed shut. So, I have to get rid of this. Come on. There. There we go. Oh. And apparently we need to go sit here. It would have been good to have one of the cooling coils here, but whatever. We'll sit and wait. Because my, yeah, I'm fully decked out in gelled slime. Alright, we do have some in here, so I just walked away quickly from that and just to pour it, and then we'll go back and sit here for a bit while the iron cools, and then we'll go back and pour more, and then we'll sit here for a bit while the iron cools, and we'll make progress that way. Slow, painful, but progress. And now we should be able to make a basic capacitor bank. Yes. Nice. Nice indeed, and that we can just stick on to our power line at any point here. Maybe put it here. And that is now charging. Good. Which means we should be able to charge the ender in here. Yes. Good. Awesome. That's very quick. Uh, durability. Where do I see the charge? Power. 150,000 RF. Good. Got that, and then we can power the thirst quencher. Oh yeah. It's charging real quick too. Okay, so it's stored water, and it's also got stored energy. So it only has 16 buckets in here. Which isn't all that much, to be honest, but let's go get 16 buckets in here to see how it works. Alright, so here we have a whole bunch of water. Actually, 16 buckets. Okay, can I... Uh... Right-click on a water source block or tank with water to fill. This, this is a fluid tank. Is it not the right kind of fluid tank? That fills it, yes. Alright, cool. And that works with that. No. Alright, okay. Let's remove our shield from here. Oh, it does. It does have something in it now. 3 out of 16. Oh yeah, there we go. So shift right click works on this. And now it has 16 out of 16 buckets in it. So that possibly means I don't need to have... It requires automatically cleans water. It can be used in a bobble slot. Oh, I see, I see. So we put that in here. And now we don't need to drink anymore. I would assume. It's using up RF already, but okay. Alright, cool. Cool, very cool. Uh, we are out of things to make water from, though, so that's a little bit of a concern. And we're also out of wood, so it would seem appropriate to go plant some trees here. Alright, that gives us a bunch of leaves and a bunch of wood. Good. Good stuff. We'll toss all of the leaves in here. That should start immediately 
being converted into water, filling these up. So that's good. It's very good, in fact. And we also have nine more logs, so that's good. <sighs> oh well, we got half of the quest done. And that's good, because I mean, obviously this is going to be this is going to be useful for us. We don't have to worry about all of the, the the constant drinking so much. We'll just worry about food. But it's at least one thing less to worry about. So that's good, and we also have something to charge our Ender with. That's also good. Sadly, we have a massive step up to do to get to the point where we can make those circuits. So if you know about how that works, please let me know in the comments. And with that, thank you very much for watching. This has been Slice Lime in Forever Stranded, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>